All right, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm gonna to show you how you can get those darn specs out from behind your new cell phone screen using tape. So, what you gotta do, put a piece of tape on the outside, usually in a direction like that. It seems to work the best for me. You might, you might wanna make sure you have really clean hands when you do this. So, pick up the protector. Now most of the stuff is going to be on the screen protector on the other side, like right there. So just like that. Hopefully, I have already, yep, just like that, much better already. Much better. But when you do this, you got to make sure that you don't add any more foreign elements in there. So you got to make sure that you're clean and you're doing it in a clean spot. I hate the little spots that get under the protectors like everybody else. Oh, there's another one. No, get off there. There we go. This takes skill and it takes patience, so don't do it while you're angry or even drunk. So I'm gonna get a new piece of tape here. It's already looking significantly better. Maybe I should get a longer piece than that. No, that'll probably do. Oh, wow, you're right over there. I probably should have started at the other end for you, eh? The static is bringing it right up, to. Oh, no, I touched the screen protector. I'm probably going to have another spot to do. Oh, that looks so much better. That looks so much better. I got two new specs here and here. Man, I actually got paid for doing this. I should get paid. Okay, come on, come off, will ya? Okay, so I got most of the specs there. Still got a few specs on this side. Now since I'm putting the tape right over, I kind of have to keep in mind where it is. A nice big piece here. So, this particular screen protector that I'm using came from an otter box and it is honestly agreeing with me pretty well. Come on. So remember, I definitely need a lot of patience for this. And I'd recommend getting good tape too. I wouldn't go for just any dollar store tape. Damn, that's good. Sorry if my hair got in the way there. As you can see, I don't have any of those. Oh, maybe one little spot. I can take care of that. Actually, I can just live with that one little spot. I don't mind that one little spot at all. So, let's go for the last ones on the other side. No! Oh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> More patience, Nevin. More patience. Just gotta flatten it out, get that air out of there. Looks like it didn't hurt it too much more. It's got one little speck there. But either way, it is significantly better looking right now than it was when I started. Actually, I'm gonna be using this with Nodderbox to do a review of how good the Otter of how good the otter box actually is. Come on, get off there. What the hell are you? There you go, you're gone now, whatever you were. Let's see what else I got. Uh, just two little dots, I can live with that. I can live with that. Honestly, this otter box is, otter box uh, screen protector is the nicest I've used until we start talking about uh, until we start talking about uh, hard glass ones, tempered glass, they're a lot more forgiving. Okay, I'm missing a few down, down there, but you know what? I don't care. That looks good. Anyways, uh, check out my video I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be stress testing an otter box, an otter box case, otter box. It's not a defender, it's a commuter. That's right, the commuter. Be testing that out and seeing how it works for this. Anyways, 
Have a good one, folks. Catch you later.